Hey and welcome back to the WT Farm Girl channel. Today I am going to show you two types of raking hay and why I'm doing both types this round. Let's go. Hey, we're making hay. And why have you not hit that subscribe button yet? It is still red. Go down there and click it. Turn that bell on too. Thanks. All right, so here we have our very first hay rake. So this is a four bar rake because there are one, two, three, four bars. And every year at the start of hay season, I have to go through <laughs> and put a million of these little suckers on. These are, I don't know, like two bucks a piece. So when you have to replace like 15 of them, it, it adds up. It's not gonna break the bank and they're very easy to replace, but it's just, they're not edible. The horses can't eat them. Just fell out of a bale like that? How many more of these do I have in my bales? So why did I decide to go back to Old Faithful here over our beautiful New Holland 11 wheel ground rake? So this is a really exciting episode because you get to see both rakes in action today. And why? I'm not using just one. Uh, so we came out here to check the hay. Today is Sunday morning and when did I cut? Thursday and Friday. I know the top was looking nice and dry, but the bottom um, is still looking pretty wet. These are nice big windrows, which is nice for hay, but makes it a little bit trickier when you have to dry it. Now the small rake is just gonna take one single row and it's basically gonna pack it in together and it's gonna flip it. All right, so this is Amphrodite's first actual car ride. Usually she rides in the pet carrier. There's a good girl. So uh, she hates riding on the car. So we're just gonna get her acclimated. Yeah. And we're actually right behind the house. So if she seems a little stressed, then you can just take her back and you'll be okay. Yes. All right, so we are using the Honda Pilot today to rake the hay field. This is the secondary hay field. And uh, let's see how this is gonna go. Yeah, it's definitely been a while since I've used this and I forgot that I have to engage it. Hold on, stay, stay. Yes. Such a drama queen. It's uh getting her flipping. Oh my gosh, it sounds so bad. It's a good thing I got that mirror. I don't want to kick it into the grass though, that'd be bad. you're gonna notice is that it's leaving a lot of hay behind. It 
and that's okay. That's why we have the other hay rake. That's why we got rid of this one is because it did leave a lot of material still on the field. Uh, not so much for first cutting, but definitely for second and third was non-existent. So goal isn't to be majorly precise. It's just get it kind of gathered up and kind of fluffed and let it kind of dry a bit. And then we'll come through the hay rake. Either later on tonight we'll do the hay rake or maybe tomorrow. Just depends on how dry it is. And then we will gather two rows into one or three, I don't know. It can come pretty rough. I raked it in about half an hour, maybe 20 minutes for a one acre field. This I was going a little bit slower, this I was going a little bit faster. You can see how much stuff it's leaving behind. Um, typically for second cutting, it will leave about half of it on the field. Uh, this is a really tall second cut, so it's going to leave a little bit less. But it's just because it's not a very efficient hay rake. That's why we switched to the wheel rake. Um, we have a very fine grass and the wheel rake just scrubs everything clean. Usually I baby it pretty good, but as you can see, stuff is just <sighs> getting mangled. Um, this one was brand new when this one came off. Um, this one's getting mangled. I mean, most of these are just popping right off everywhere. They're supposed to barely scrape the ground. And actually at the lowest point, oops, lowest point, there's still like three inches. So this is up pretty high. See, this is the ground and there's the hay tines. So this is probably the perfect setting. Um, all right, let's go to field number one.
it took probably about three hours to do the entire field, which is about what I was expecting. Uh, that's about how long it takes to TED, three to four hours. Um, hey, it's looking beautiful. Let me see. I don't know if it shows up on the camera color, but this is just a nice, bright, deep green color. Bright, deep green. Um, yeah, I pulled a lot of the stuff off. It was stuck everywhere. Uh, the downside of this hay rake is that a little breeze, the hay just blows. And uh, that's one of the reasons why I do like that wheel rake a little bit better is because it does roll the hay, which a lot of people complain about. But for us, it's perfect because we don't have to worry about uh, sloppy windows. Uh, some of this is just from the hay uh, blowing as it's kicked up. But this, you can already see, is, is uh, drying out pretty good. Uh, there's still little bits in here that can dry a little bit more. Um, it's sounding good. It's not quite breaking. Like if you were to pull on it, it's still, uh, see, it's not snapping on my finger. So I don't think it's dry dry yet. I think it needs to go just a little bit more. And that's fine. And so we're out here. Um, so my guess for number of bales between the fields, I would say give or take three to 500. I know for a lot of you guys, it's like, you know, a sneeze, but you know, what can you do when you're not getting enough rain to make hay? All right, are you ready to rake the hay? Yeah. Yeah? We got go some- Go forward a little bit, and then when I say stop, I wanna see if the bottle popped. Oh, yeah, because you've got a nice little science experiment you planned, huh? Yeah. All right. Okie dokie. Oops. I'm gonna drive. I feel something underneath my tires. Stop. Oh, you're not gonna believe it. What? They didn't pop. What? <laughs> they didn't pop. Look at. How? I think you popped the cap off one, but that's about it. Because uh, these tires, these are special tires that are designed to float. And uh, so that they don't put quite so much pressure on the field. So that's probably a good thing. That means that the tires are doing their job. <laughs> so they're not gonna squash all of our hay field dirt. Pretty neat. There's the other hay rake. What? Over there. All right, so today's procedure is we are going to combine the rows. Uh, we've left it on the field for a full 24 hours to dry. So now we're going to rake, I don't know, how many rows do you think we're gonna grab with this? Look at the rows out there. How many rows do you think it's gonna take? Do you think it's gonna grab three, or do you think it's gonna grab two? I'm thinking it's gonna grab three. I think eight. You think it's gonna grab eight? Wow. If we grab eight, that'd mean we'd have like two full rows on this whole field. <laughs> that'd be crazy. Down we go! I don't have a kick hat. Ow. I can smell a kick hat. What? Isn't that pretty cool? Yeah. Yeah? Kit Kat. Did you eat your sandwich? Okay. You, you can have one Kit Kat and then you eat the rest of your lunch. Okay? Huh? One Kit Kat and then the rest of your lunch, please. Okay. All right, we got that field all done. Did they go pretty fast? Oh, you've been cleaning out the food basket, haven't you? Well, wasn't too bad. Had a few hiccups here at the beginning part of the field because I couldn't find my rose because it's a little thin, but the rest of it out there is pretty thick.
babies don't ride in the tractor with you. It's pretty much because you eat all their food and fart the entire time and take the phones. Go! I saw a wee bit of better hornet. So now you might be wondering why I would pick this guy over this guy if I wanted to tat. And the reason is because his tatting radius is about the same size as his raking radius, but he completely scatters the hay outward and he just kind of picks it up and fluffs it and throws it around a little bit. This guy makes it really hard to come back through and collect everything again. Plus, I end up running over what I already tedded. Ted did it. Tedded. 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 The other advantage of this one is that I can pull it with virtually anything. This one is not ground driven. This one is actually PTO driven. So I still needed the use of the big heavy tractor in order to pull it. And since we only have one tractor, sometimes it's nice to make effective use of other tractorable items. Thanks for watching guys, I really appreciate it. Coming up next, we have the exciting world of failing and failing, failing and failing. So much fun, so much chaos, new machines. You guys are not gonna wanna miss this. Coming up next and a special cameo appearance from one of your favorite YouTube farmers. Who is it? You'll find out. Take care guys, love you, bye.